Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth, to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which will be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel, who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson speaking on how when Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai hid his face from us. Alright, what that what that equated to was what? Us discontinuing from my heritage. Okay, not understanding. Okay, the, the righteous way, the old path as it's written in Jeremiah. And ultimately, it brought on Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai's uh, a rage upon us, man. You see, but now we're living in a time where what? Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai is beginning to show us favor. That's why scripture says, what better is the end of a thing than the beginning of a thing thereof, roughly paraphrasing. We're in the time now where Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai is going to turn our captivity, man. You see? And it's starting with him, what? No longer hiding himself from us, man. As a matter of fact, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, let's stop right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 15, and it reads, Verily thou art a power that hidest thyself. O power of Israel, the Savior, man. Okay? And when the Lord threw us head first into captivity, okay, that was him what? Hiding himself from us, man. You see, and what proves that when you go to Ezekiel, let's go ahead real quick. Bear with me. When you go to Ezekiel, the 39th chapter, Starting right around, and we may have to read down on this. Starting right around the 24th verse, it reads what? According to their uncleanness, who's there? Who's there? A so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Us Israelites, man. Check it out. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. You see that? <laughs> That's how the Lord operates, man. You see? He turned away his face, man. From us, man. That, hey, that, that light was no longer shining upon us, man. You see, when the Lord turns his face from us, we're dead men walking, man. Okay, and we can see that now with, the, with our people, man. Two-thirds of our people. Okay, while well, wandering, wandering around the planet Earth aimlessly. Okay, trying to seek comfort in all the wrong places, man. <laughs> you see? Trying to seek comfort in all the wrong places. Matter of fact, let's get this real quick. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 31. In verse 18, it reads, And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they show Salakia. Let's read this again from the top. And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they have wrought. And when you rot something, you work it. Right? And that they are turned unto other powers. You see that? Idolatry, man. 
You see? This is what Jake has done. Jake has uh, turned to idols, man. False gods. You see? And hey, you're, you're Jesus Christ? Hey, that's a false god, man. Whether you believe it or not. Okay? Jesus Christ, that's that's uh, Serapis Crystals. Okay? Seizure Bourget. Okay? A complete Momo. Do your research, man. Okay? Set up by Evil E. In efforts to push white supremacy, man. But no matter how much you tell Jake, no matter how many facts you bring out, they don't listen. Why? Because Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai has turned his face from them. He's not allowing them to enter into his rest. He's not allowing them to receive the understanding. You see? He's leaving them outside of the temple. Okay? This is why we're truly blessed, man. For those of us that have been able to come into this light. The understanding. You see? Let's go back. Back in the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 39. And verse 24 again. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them. And hid my face from them. Therefore thus saith the Lord power. Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob. See that? Meaning what? He's going to turn our captivity. That's what that means when he says, I will bring again. Okay? And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. And I will be jealous for my holy name, man. See? So the Yahweh Bashim is going to what? He's doing this for his holy name's sake, man. First and foremost. And that's something we got to remember. You see? Because none of us are worth, uh, uh, are worthy of the mercy, okay, that Yahweh Bashim Shai is resting upon us, man. As a matter of fact, we're all worthy for, we're, we're all worthy of death, ultimately. You see? We, we, we transgress, man. We, we greatly offended our power, man. We will walk, con we walked contrary to our power, man. We broke that covenant. We broke the first covenant, man. But because of the promises, promises, the co covenants and oaths that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we would never be forgotten. Okay? We would never be forgotten, man. Yahweh Ba, Shimei Aoshai always had that grape cluster on the back burner, man. Okay? He always left that remnant. Okay? His, his favorite. Lord willing, we are of the elect. Our baratas are, man. You see, we're coming into the time now where the Lord's turning our captivity, man. And how we know that is because he sent the Holy Spirit. Let's continue on. After that, they have done, Salakia, after that they have borne their shame and all their trespasses whereby they have tra trespassed against me, right? And we are bearing our shame, man. And we have to walk around with the stigma, okay, of having a history of our forefathers and foremothers being slaves, man. Okay, or damn near eradicated. Okay, in the form of God. Okay, completely conquered. Okay, regarding the whole nation. <laughs> we have to walk around with that stigma, man. As Evil E walks around, he wrecks statues with Jake walking behind um, <laughs> uh, these reprobate niggas with uh, horses. What's that? The Teddy, Rezo the Teddy Roosevelt statue? You know, these devil got God and uh, Judah walking behind him in chains and feathers of iron, man. Come on, man. You can go to Wikipedia, okay, and look up the Wounded Knee Massacre. And see evil E dealing treacherously, man. With God, man. Okay? You can you can type in lynchings in America. And you can see evil E dealing treacherously, man. With the southern kingdom, man. You see? This is a shame we got to bear on this side, man. But guess what? It's coming to an end. Let's continue on. 
Let's read it from the top. Ezekiel 39 and 26. After that they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid, man. Right, we were, hey, uh, what's that? Uh, Deuteronomy 32, Joshua 1, uh, uh, wax fat. And I believe when you get that word Joshua on, uh, and the Hebrew it goes into upright one Because that's how we were supposed to conduct ourselves man Being that we were given these law, statutes and commandments man Pursuing the Deuteronomy 4 You see uh, Us upholding these law, statutes and commandments Walking in the spirit Because we know we can't keep them all More, uh, Ultimately it boils down to Being led by the spirit man Okay but ultimately The point I'm making okay, Us being given the law, statutes and commandments Put us above every other nation on this planet You can go read Deuteronomy 4 You see It's all over the place man Deuteronomy 12 7 Okay It put us on a whole nother pedestal You see but what was Jake doing Alright When we were, when we were uh, When, when Yahweh Bashimah had us flossing Jake was tripping Okay, Jake still wanna worship idols. He still wanna uh, uh, do things secretly, as if Yahweh Bashi Me Shai wasn't seeing him. You know, regarding, you know, I, I, regarding wickedness, man. Okay, shedding the blood of, their, uh, of, of, our, of our own people, man. You see, all types of wickedness, man, that Jake was doing. All types of wickedness, man. And this is why we're in the predicament that we're in now. Okay, but again, the beautiful thing about it is what? The Lord's turning our captivity. He's once again, okay, turning his face to us, not away from us. Okay, and how we know that is because we've been given the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We've, we've been given the name again. We know our power's name. Okay, we understand his will Which is critical Okay, which is critical, man Because if you don't understand his will, guess what? If you don't understand his desires You can't please him, man Which puts you in the lot of a transgressor Okay, which is ultimately going to cost you your life Let's continue on When I have brought them again so Lachia, when I have brought them again from the people, uh-oh, and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, okay, and how are we being gathered out of our enemies' lands? By this word, pursuant to the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter, man, we're being gathered by the word, first and foremost, man, this is more evidence, okay, as man, but let me grab that in Baruch real quick. The book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 20, uh, so like here, 36, and it reads, O Jerusalem, right, which is a people before it's a place. It's talking about our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, and there will be speckled birds, okay, Israelites that look like the other nations. We're going to come out of every nation. Why? Deuteronomy 28 and 64, we've been scattered. That's part of the curses. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east. Why? Because that's where the Holy Land is, man. Okay, that's where our temples were erected, man. Okay, and behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. You see, when he threw us at first into captivity, starting with the northern kingdom, man. Okay, when we went into captivity under Shalmaneser the fifth, man, the Assyrian king at the, of the time. Okay, and, and, and what? Not too, uh, not not too long after, okay. The the southern kingdom went into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar the second man. Okay, the Babylonian king of that time, and they they coined him as the as the greatest uh, king that reigned in Babylon. But needless to say, continuing on, 
They come gathered together from the east to the west. How, Lord? By the word of the Holy One. Rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You see that? And this is happening right now. That's why these various camps are all over Babylon and all over the world, which are likened unto altars, man. Where sacrifices are being made, man. And prayers are being heard. Okay? <laughs> hey, this is of the Lord. This is of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Why do you think evil E wants to uh, make a stop to it? Out of all these other denominations and Christianity and Islam and Egyptology and all these crazy niggas. And I'm talking about all you people, man. Okay? With these wayward doctrines. Okay? You got uh, witchcraft and all this other crazy shit. But here it is. The Bible is the biggest threat. Okay? Why? Because it's the truth. That's why. Let's continue on. Back at Ezekiel 39 and 27, and it reads, When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. And what does it mean to be sanctified? Holy, which means separate, consecrated. You see? And how is it happening? Through the word. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them with thy truth, right? Th thy word is truth, man. These are the words of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, the elect are sanctified by this truth. Okay? <laughs> Lord willing, we're the elect, man. Abaratas are, man. Lord willing. Right? Let's continue on. Then shall they know that I am the Lord, their power. Which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. And we've come to that understanding. We understand that it was due to our disobedience, man. We're in the position that we're in. That we had to uh, go through the plight. That we had to go through, man. It was due to disobedience. We understand that now. You see? So what comes after this? Salvation. Let's continue on. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them anymore there. So we're coming into a time, man, where the Lord's coming to pick us up, man. Lord willing, with the elect. We're about to get scooped up, man. And here's the point. Ezekiel 39 and 29. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord. Power, man. Okay, and we're, we're getting that. We're getting the ink link of that now. We're having the Holy Spirit resting upon us, man. Okay, proving that the Lord's not hiding His face from us anymore, man. He's showing us favor. See, Esau's being revealed. The true understanding of the Bible is on full display. Okay, this is how we know we're creeping up on that day. What day? The day of salvation, man, for the elect. As a matter of fact, let's call that right here. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, and verse 2, and it reads, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the day of salvation. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kahalayim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Shalom.